Hey guys, Josh Cohen, Strength and Conditioning Coach here at Competitive Edge Skating and Strength Training. This week's video is for those of you that have to sit in the car a lot for work, or teams and players that have to travel on buses for tournaments that are going out of state and things like that, and how to minimize the effects of sitting for so long, as well as common stretches that you should be doing after a prolonged time in the car. So if this is my seat in my car right here, there's a couple things that you really need to work on to help get rid of some of that tightness. So the number one thing is to not stay in the same position for a prolonged period of time. So a lot of cars now, they have the lever where you can move the seat forward and back and adjust the incline on your back. The number one thing is to constantly kind of move that around, not at the expense of getting in an accident because that's first and foremost is to be safe and be aware of when you're doing things like this and constantly move your position. So we'll start off with kind of the hips because a lot of people are tight in their hips from sitting for so long. So something that you can do to help that is if you're sitting like this and you're driving or you're just sitting in the passenger seat, if you're at a red light or you're able to stop, is to get into that hip extension, so squeezing your glutes. And if you're hanging on the steering wheel here, so imagine hanging on, you're getting your heels into the ground and you're extending those hips up and getting into that hip extension to help get some of that stress off those hip flexors and to straighten them out. And so the next thing would be in the back. So a lot of people are gonna hunch over like this in their seat. So something you can do is get a, what's called a lumbar roll, use a small pillow, or like I have here, it's just a rolled up sweatshirt. You'll put that right in your low back and that's gonna help give you that nice little curve in that lumbar spine so you're sitting more straight up. And you can move that around as you want. So after, if your back starts to get a little tired in this position, you can even move that up to your shoulders and kind of lean back there. Or if you do need to slunt, like slouch in that seat, you can just put that down and sit here. Or you can even put it on your tailbone and that's going to kind of sit you up right more and get just a little bit of that flexion in that lumbar. So the next thing would be for the shoulders. So if you're hanging on the steering wheel here, a lot of people will do this or this or hang down here. Something to kind of work into those shoulders is to grab and then imagine you're trying to snap that steering wheel in half. So you're getting that external rotation and then just pulling those shoulders back. Just hanging out there for a little while. You can even do one arm or the two. Out of any position, you can even come underneath and do that. So trying to break and pulling those shoulders back just to get that shoulder moving in that socket. So that's some things you can kind of do in the car. Like I said, don't do it at the expense of getting in an accident or being unaware of surroundings around you. So the next thing is gonna be the next couple stretches you should do after sitting in a car for a long time. So the first is just gonna be those ankles. So when you're driving, a lot of the time you're just getting into that plantar flexion, so toes down. So we wanna reverse that, especially if you have squats the next day or anything like that with just a little bit of dorsiflexion, and then you're actually gonna use your elbow to push on your knee to give some tension there. So you'll come here, and then there's a couple options. You can just hang out and hold if you'd like, or if you want more of like a kind of dynamic, especially if you have a game, you'll just come here, one, two, three, and back. So just getting a little bit of that lean in, making sure you're doing both legs, so you just switch. Do that other leg if you wanna hold, or coming forward and back. So the next one's just gonna be those hamstrings. So just a typical hamstring stretch. So touching those toes. If you want more of a dynamic, like I said, if you have a game, you can get into a wide split. Come down, one, two, three, get that hip extension. Down, one, two, three, up in that hip extension. And this one's probably the most important, and that's gonna be for the hip flexors. Because if you're sitting really for a long time here, you're gonna get really short and really tight there, and it's just gonna be really hard to open that up. So there's two ways. You can just get into this half kneeling position and you're gonna keep your back completely straight. I like to keep my hands on my chest just so I'm not flailing up. Keep here and then you're gonna squeeze that glute on that leg that's down as hard as you can. And you're almost gonna lean back. You should feel a really strong stretch right here in your quad. And if you're flexible enough or if you have something around you like your couch or anything like that, you can do what's called that's um, couch stretch. So you'll have your toe there, and you'll do that same thing, just lean back, but this will help you get into more extension for that. And lastly, for those shoulders, so if you can just get into a doorway, put your hand on that doorway and lean into it, just open up that pec in those shoulders, that'll be great. 
And even better is if you have something you can hang from just to hang overhead. So with our culture and things like that, there's times where you just have to be in the car for a prolonged period of time, but that doesn't mean that you can't minimize those effects so you can come back and play very well in that next game or come after that next training session even stronger. Make sure you guys go to our website at ceskating.com. Sign up for our Sunday email. This is where you get words of wisdom for your week, as well as our training and class schedule for the entire week. Also, make sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great rest of your day.